President Trump seems to have spent most of the day today on Twitter, judging by the sheer number of offensive tweets he wrote and the number of self-serving retweets he retweeted. Given the seemingly limitless amount of time he dedicated to social media today, one would think he didn't have a country to lead, although a good number of American citizens would prefer that he stay focused on Twitter rather than screwing anything else up with his nefariously incompetent and malicious leadership. Looking at the people responsible for posts that Trump retweeted, it's clear that the president follows every lunatic right-wing ideologue dwelling in the Twitterverse as he proceeded to retweet any post that supported his wrong-headed policies or bigoted point of view. Most notably, Trump retweeted two posts from the nefarious alt-right internet troll and conspiracy theorist Jack Posobiec, the man responsible for spreading the ludicrous Pizzagate hoax that accused Hillary Clinton and top Democratic Party officials of involvement in a secret child sex ring based out of a Washington, D.C. pizzeria. Pizzagate was a politically motivated bundle of fabrications that helped Trump get elected and nearly resulted in deaths when a North Carolina follower of Pizzobiex entered the Comet Ping Pong restaurant with an Arkansas 15 rifle and started shooting after deciding to investigate the supposed den of evil himself. While that bit of disaster alone should have persuaded President Trump to avoid retweeting the extremist posts by Pizzobiex, which we will spare you the offense of including here due to their vile nature, one would think that the fact that this was the same man who held up a rape Melania poster at an anti-Trump rally in an effort to discredit the protesters would have been enough additional motivation for the president to keep his distance from the deranged right-wing extremist as possible. Oddly, though, this is not the first time since Pazobiec called for a sexual assault on his wife that Trump has retweeted the alt-right provocateur. If you note the date on the above tweet from resistance activist Carolyn or outing the behavior by the conservative extremist, you'll see it comes from August of 2017. Now, a year and a half later, in the face of mass murders halfway around the globe inspired by Trump's mantra of hatred for immigrants and non-whites, the president refuses to be anything but his authentic self, an authentically racist, evil, hate-filled self bent on destroying our nation through the dissemination of the white nationalist propaganda that he consumes like Big Macs for his hideously hungry and decaying soul. With even hardened, cynical Republican politicos trembling in servitude at his feet, no one has the cogens to stage an intervention and take the president's mobile phone away to stop him from embarrassing himself and the nation any further. Unfortunately, the honchos at Twitter don't have the guts to suspend his account despite his multiple violations of the site's terms of service against abusive behavior, hateful conduct, and violent threats. Perhaps if everyone continues to report his most abusive tweets to Twitter using this link, they'll reconsider their decision before it's too late.